Epic, do you watch that KM videos? I watch this shit all the time. I be getting mad because he be posting shit days later, and I be trying to get him back to back. You know what I'm saying? I be watching it. He be but what you think about that content? Man, it's fire, man. Whatever they be saying is history, and I be listening to their history. You know what I'm saying? And I try to invincibilize what they went through. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? I don't care. I mean, he be asking some serious questions. And they be saying some serious shit, how the motherfuckers used to go up there shooting and fighting. I be like, God damn, penitentiary. You know how Rockhead saw it, like he just ran his own program, he went against the grain. I'm like, man, how you go against the grain? You know what I'm saying? Get stabbed up and all that, and like, talking about fuck this and fuck that. I'm like, man, that shit. Yeah, man, I got some fire though. I can't wait till the next video that we fire, cause I'll be, I'll be there, man. So what are the next video? Yeah, so what do we so easy to say that Kev Mac, S Mac, and Melly, we do pretty good on this? Yeah, man, you know, Kev Mac, then you jumped on the tank, cause Kev Mac was doing it first, you know what I'm saying? His broadcast be on there, you know what I'm saying? I be listening to the broadcast. When he had, when he had Mumpy on there, oh, he be having all the OGs on there, and then just the history, and I used to be over there in the 60s, selling Christmas trees. I used to go to Charlie's. Charlie, they used to let me in, you know what I'm saying? I used to After you served all the Christmas when I, trees, you had a lot of money. When I shut down my tree lot, man, I go to Charlie's. You know, Charlie's. Not, what was happening at Charlie's? It was strippers and hoes up in that motherfucker. <laughs> Wait a minute, your wife around? <laughs> she, she, she ain't gonna get mad, she is. She, you know, but I got a cool wife. But yeah, I used to be all over there, man. Florence and 8th Avenue, that was my tree lot over there. I used to eat fresh and meaty every day. Fresh and meaty burger. Fresh and meaty? Day. Fresh and meaty every day. I stayed over there. I remember one time I was sleeping in the camper and I had a deuce deuce long nose revolver. And I woke up, I thought I was dreaming, a motherfucking tree was moving. I'm like, God damn, am I dreaming? I just stuck out the window shooting. Boom, 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 he dropped the tree, but you know, the apartments right there on our floors, I just saw a trail uh, tree stems going to a house. I ain't knock on the door though, but I said I'll catch his ass next time. <laughs> I, I did everything, man. I ain't gonna go broke, man. Shit. Well, we appreciate this interview, man. You bringing us to your house, to your home, showing us your horse stable, your goats, your your pigs, your dogs, pigeons, pigeons, and then you introduce us to your daughter-in-law, man. Yeah. We had a great wife, day with you, man. Work right now, so you know what I'm and then you gave us a tour of the Compton crib. Compton crib, it ain't MTV cribs. It's Compton cribs now. Peace. You know, I'm going to have to patent that because when y'all do another count and take y'all to a nice house, I'm going to have to get paid off of that. Count the cribs. I'll say it first. You better patent it before this lands on the <laughs> For video. Sure. For sure. Yeah, but yeah, man, I used to do everything. I ain't going to go broke because the New York cats, they got a lot of game, man. I think you the one that started them. <laughs> I never go Because you went, you went down there and they wasn't crippling and blood and they told you. How did they tell you again in your words? They told me. They were like, hey, yo, fam. We don't want that Cali blood and crips out here. I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm trying to make money. I'm trying to sell shirts. Nigga, the concert finna let out. What are you talking about with this shit? And then the next time you went back, what well, was it? The next time I went there, it was bloods and crips, it was bloods and crips out there, man. So you the one that did it. No, I ain't do it. Somebody, <laughs> I ain't do it. But I was there when there was no game. Man. I was there, man. I'm telling you, I was there. I stayed, I stayed in the Bronx and I stayed at, at the York Motel, the Jersey Turnpike. You know what I'm saying? But I used to go to Hunters Point. They didn't want to take me. I was like 16, 17. They didn't want to take me to Hunters Point. I used to take a cab down there. Shit. What was happening over there? Hunters Point was the, that's the whole stroke. Oh, shucks. The stroke. They turned me out. All them older guys, I was the youngest one. They turned me out. Are you, you know famous? Yeah. They Why turned me out on that. But like my Why partner I'm Lucky, New York Lucky, my, my partner Lucky, man, we used to make fake backstage passes. And she took me up on the wing. We used to go in the concert. They couldn't search us. Go in there and work the concession stand. We was in um, we was in Alabama, man. And we went to a McDonald's. You know, you throw your receipts away. Uh huh. He went in the trash can and got a receipt with a big order. Went back in there with a the man. And they gave us a whole fresh order without paying. We had a pocket full of money in our pocket. <laughs> That's, That's what, really That slick. was in '92. R. Kelly went went on tour with Bumper Grind tour with Salt and Pepper. We was doing R. Kelly. We went in the mall, make a um, fake backstage of R. Kelly. Got the single, laminated it, put the all access with the kid stickers, with the with like the glitter kind, put a hole in it, referee whistle, fake backstage pass. We in there. Everybody so knows. slick. We're gonna close this out, man. It's been a good day, man. We'll close us out, man. Yeah. <laughs>
Shout out to Kev Mac, Mally Mel, S Mac, you know what I'm saying, for you know what I'm saying, doing the interview. You didn't have to do it, you know what I'm saying? I'm still trying to learn my ABDs. But good looking out, Kev Mac. Man, you left out a whole letter. You know what I'm saying? I'm still, you know what I'm saying? I'm thank y'all appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna have some views on this motherfucker too. You know what I'm saying? That's right, man. Professor yeah. Melly Mill, Kev Mac, S Mac. We out. KM videos with content is king. Kev and Mac we, videos. And we are out.